failure on YouTube should never intimidate you. View it as a stepping stone in your personal growth journey, much like every path in life. And always remember to pause and acknowledge how far you have come as you steadily move forward. Nearly two years back, I took the leap and uploaded my debut video on YouTube, which you will see in a bit. It's remarkable how this platform has truly changed my life since then. Despite currently having just over 1,000 subscribers, I can confidently say that being a content creator here has profoundly impacted my self-esteem and overall well-being. While the dream of my channel skyrocketing to fame remains, the personal growth and fulfillment I have experienced along this journey are priceless. I strongly encourage anyone contemplating starting a YouTube channel to take that leap of so faith. In this video, I aim to persuade you of the transformative power that creating a YouTube channel can have on your life. But let's start from the very beginning of my story. So during my childhood, I don't have any videos, only plenty of photographs, of course, from holiday memories, birthday celebrations, and really cozy moments at home with my family. As I matured, I have to say that I became quite camera shy without knowing the reason. And this resulted in barely having any photos from my uni days here in the UK. Nevertheless, it was a super charming period where I was only using my phone to text and call my family and my friends, which is a far cry from today's digital landscape. So after finishing university and as I entered the workforce, I found myself shifting my perspective a little bit with uh, the era of Facebook. Well, I am that old. I found and gained actually some confidence in posing for photos. So this was a period where I had so much enthusiasm in taking photos and sharing them with my friends. I was sharing the books that I was reading, the coffee shops that I was going to, always taking photos of uh, cute coffee cups, and I was also taking the occasional selfie, of course. And after Facebook actually came blogging, I loved writing and uh, I'm, I think I'm better at writing than uh, talking. Uh, so I had my blog and I was religiously uploading content and photos. Uh, but it was taking so much of my time, I have to say, I was very busy that period, so I just abandoned the blog uh, completely. And then of course came Instagram. For me, when I started using Instagram, it was the perfect outlet just to express my creativity. But I barely knew that I had it, but you know, it just came very, very naturally. I enjoyed taking photos, playing with the angles, uh, the lighting, just putting little photos together uh, to tell a story, find some inspirational quotes, and just express myself, uh, really. I still use Instagram um, up to this uh, day, but I just feel that this platform is so overcrowded, super saturated, and super, super difficult just to stand out from uh, the crowd. crowd. To me, Instagram uh, feels like fast food. And now let's talk about the wonderful world of YouTube. I have to say that I arrived later than most. It all began uh, by following my favorite content creators, observing their daily routines while I was at the gym working out, their travel uh, adventures, fashion insights, and so on. The idea of doing something similar had never crossed my mind until a work-related challenge really nudged me in that uh, direction presenting. That was my worst nightmare. I vividly recall being unexpectedly thrust into the spotlight uh, on several occasions, uh, tasked with delivering some presentations, and I felt really, really uncomfortable uh, doing it and talking in front of people or even presenting a piece of work that I had worked on over on Teams, which is not very challenging, but still to me, it was like a huge mountain ahead of me. And I felt that I didn't have a lot of support for that. And there was not time to prepare myself for something like that at work. 
So with no alternative really in sight, I decided to just embrace the situation and push myself, uh, trying to boost my confidence and just shake off the overwhelming sensation that often accompanies speaking in front of others. You know, when it feels like your breath is fleeting and your heart might burst from your chest. I don't know if any of you have uh, felt this. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, it would be good to know that I'm, I'm not the only one. Um, so it was during this period that the seemingly wild notion of launching a YouTube channel and be just another content creator launching a YouTube channel uh, struck me as a potential solution to tackle uh, these challenges head on and try and boost, as I said, my confidence and the way that I feel inside. Sometimes what I just described earlier does not show. Uh, my voice might not have been trembling, but I knew what I was feeling inside and that was really important for me to try and tackle. So just being in your room alone, like I am at the moment, uh, staring in your camera and just talking to what feels like nobody yet, everybody at the same uh, time, can bring a certain level of discomfort in all honesty. And I feel that if you get past eventually uh, this discomfort level, you only have to gain so much out of this experience. Just remember that courage and confidence are nurtured through action. Hence, I took the bold step of hitting record and consistently uploading video after video. This commitment to practice has not only allowed me to refine my skills, but has also worked wonders for just boosting my confidence. Okay, it's getting a little hotter in here. So what I wanted to say next is that the confidence that I get does not depend on the video's outcome, meaning that how good the quality um, is, how many views a video gets, how many likes, how many comments. It all comes from the fact that I'm getting out of my comfort zone without thinking how other people uh, perceive me and be courageous enough to just put myself out there. I launched my channel the month after my husband and I moved into our new home, which was back in July 2022. And since then I have discovered countless beautiful spots within our flat to film various content uh, for the channel, from fashion hauls to beauty routines. The editing process is something that I truly enjoy and just the sense of accomplishment I experience when finalizing a video is so priceless, especially as I'm someone who did not have a clue about uh, editing. So it was just a work in progress, everything for me, really. I was just learning uh, all at once. I remember the countless afternoons that after work I was just um, going on to YouTube and I was watching the videos that show you how to edit, how to do this, how to do that. And I had a little notebook next to me and I was um, taking the notes. I felt like a school kid again, you know. And another thing that I really enjoy is watching my own videos, uh, especially when I just put them on the projector and I just see me in the big uh, screen. I mean, I'm not self-absorbed, but you know, there are a lot of people let's say actors that cannot stand watching themselves. I think it's just so powerful to watch yourself doing something and just feel, um, feel good about it. Um, acknowledge what you're doing, you know, just do this to yourself. It's just so powerful. It's just the whole experience is really empowering. There's something profoundly moving about seeing yourself having this enthusiasm about what you're doing and, and just embracing your true essence. I firmly believe that the camera lens captures one's authentic colors, resulting in a beautiful and genuine portrayal. So now I just wanted to show you the spot in the flat where I filmed my very first uh, video. Let me show you. So literally I was standing somewhere around here. There were no furniture uh, back then. And this is the window where I placed the phone and I just pressed record and started filming. Okay, so what I've done uh, now is I placed the photo at 
pretty much the exact same position I had it uh, during the first ever video that I filmed for YouTube. Of course, this time it's at the correct uh, angle uh, and spot. Uh, back then I filmed myself um, placing uh, the phone vertically and yeah, as you can imagine, I didn't have a clue that the phone needed to be at a very specific angle, but anyway so what i did is i filmed uh, harris and boots unboxing uh for an upcoming uh, holiday back uh, in the day uh, i didn't edit the video because i didn't have an editing app i didn't know anything about editing so i just filmed it the sound is very terrible of course and i just uploaded it on that same day because i thought i'm gonna do it it's now or never and when i first published the video my very first video I didn't have any backup videos ready waiting for me so it was that super raw but super you know authentic and very charming uh, video and I still sometimes go back and watch the video because I always want to uh, see and remember how it all started and how I sounded uh, back then uh, remembering also how I felt and how I feel uh, now and of course other than how much this whole process and experience here on YouTube has empowered me and boosted my confidence another important thing for me is that these platforms gives you the real opportunity to create a community so at this point of course I want to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel who's watching my videos interacts uh, with me with my videos leaving comments i think it's so powerful to feel like you have your little community with like-minded people who choose to spend some of their precious time with you by watching uh, your videos and of course communicating uh, with you so a big thank you to all of you guys you know who you are and um, I'm not gonna mention in this uh, video uh, some milestones that we have achieved even though they are super super important but of course I'm gonna briefly mention that back in November uh, we became just over 1,000 of uh, us so 1,000 subscribers and in February we reached the 4,000 uh, watch hours uh, so these are the rules uh, that YouTube has for a channel uh, to apply for monet monetization. The monetization process took a while for everything, you know, to be verified in everything. Uh, it's a very interesting uh, process and I wouldn't say that monetization and money per se was my first goal, but it's nice that after doing that for such a long time, you know that there is the opportunity of uh, gaining something uh, because it's a lovely uh, process it's a lovely thing to do it feels like you know a hobby uh, and then at the end of it you might get some money so it's nice to be rewarded but this was not my ultimate uh, goal but thank you for uh, helping me uh, reaching uh, this but this uh, topic is for another uh, video mm, these are so good First of all, thank you for watching up until uh, here. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got to know a little bit more about me. And I want this video to really be the vehicle uh, to you and inspire you. Not necessarily if you want to become a content creator like me. But I think there are hidden messages that you can take away from this video and just apply them to your own story. Ciao guys. Maybe I'll send you some popcorn as well. Let's do this. Ooh.